You ever try riding a mini bike backwards? So what happens when you get a couple of free motorcycle batteries? Bink this cool free lawnmower. Bink and this mini bike frame. All right, so the first thing that I had to do with this project is take apart this battery-operated lawnmower, and I had to do it gently and carefully, because you want to be really careful when you're taking apart these three projects. You get, no, I actually tore it apart pretty fast. Tested the motor to make sure that the motor was working, and then I had to actually cut a mounting bracket, because you got to mount the motor onto the mini bike itself. I welded the two plates together, made sure everything fit, Drilled a hole in the engine mounting plate, and I tossed my motor mounting plate right on the top of that. Now that I had my motor mounting plate, I threw the motor in there, made sure everything lined up, and looking pretty good. So I decided to make a battery box, and just had to grind away some little bend marks so I could throw in the vise. Threw it in the vise really quick, clamped it in place, and just bent it over trying to not break the metal in the process. Now I had my battery mounting box, threw that in place, made sure that it fit both of my cheapo batteries. Zach welded that sucker right on in. Kapow! Took the thing off so I could just finish welding it up. Made sure that I had a good clean welds on the bottom. Came back and then sanded this thing really smooth so it would line up on the, the motor mounting plate again. All right, now I had to take off the old throttle control, put on the new throttle control, and tighten that guy down. Had a voltage meter on there too, it was pretty cool. Threw the motor back on there, the motor was already on the mounting plate. And then I got really awkwardly positioned inside of this tiny mini bike here. Threw the batteries in, threw the controller box up on top just to see where everything would fit. Had to strip down a couple of wires, and there's, this wasn't too intensive at this point, so it was pretty easy. That controller box pretty much came complete. Just had to throw a few eye hooks on here and tighten them in right in the right places. Motor on motor and power on power. Now, I did solder the reverse and forward switch a little bit longer just because I wanted the toggle up by the, the hand control. So I did splice in a bit longer wires and after I spliced the things in, I did put a little bit of shrink wrap on them, or heat wrap on them, simply because it, it made everything a little bit more stable. Those are very, very delicate thin wires. Not something that anybody has to do, but I wanted to play around with reverse. I thought it would be really fun to do. Alright, throttle, let's see what you got. Let's come on here, let's come on there, band's coming on there. Turn it up a little. Now I'm just testing the motor out, make sure that it works, both the throttle control uh, as well as forward and reverse. The voltage meter was showing me that I was running about 23 volts. Those old batteries that I picked up for free, they had a little bit of wear on them. I threw my zip ties in there, actually made a couple holes in my battery mounting plate so I could just use zip ties. This allowed me to take the controller on and off easily, not have to worry about things. And yes, I used a little piece of cardboard just to make sure that my controller box didn't touch my battery terminals. I lost my little plastic cover I was going to use there. It looked a lot nicer. Now I just had to throw my wires in place and use a little bit of the, uh, the wire bands. Make it a little neater, a little tidier, just so there isn't a bunch of extra loose ends sticking out and getting caught in a, a wheel or getting ground away. Thankfully, I was able to just take the wires, coil them up nicely, and use those little snap plates on the mini bike to tie them up to the frame. So they were quite out of the way. Testing forward and reverse again, and yeah, this thing was ready to go. There wasn't much to it. I was pretty excited because it, it was really easy to put together. Beep! Got my little forward and reverse toggle. You can hear it snap. Forward and reverse. 
At this point, the only thing left was to make sure that sprocket was on tight and to make sure that my chain was on tight. I actually had to go to Tractor Supply, pick up a half link. The tensioner on this mini bike doesn't really want to do one full length's length. So it was either way too loose or just a little too tight. So half link helped out that pretty well. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>